Yeah, 15 games left, long way to go. 16 left for Crystal Palace, who go in search of that elusive first victory of 2023 against Brentford tomorrow. No wins in six. Brentford looking to make it 11 unbeaten. Here's Patrick Vieira. Um, Wilfried, um, still a couple of weeks before he can start training with the team. Uh, Wardy uh, will start uh, training with the, uh, with the team on, uh, on next Monday. And uh, Maka still uh, progressing well. He had another really good week um, with the team, so he will be part of the squad uh, travelling. Um, I wanted to ask you, I guess in terms of you coming up against Brentford, you've had a very good run of games, they're 10 games unbeaten, um, and they seem to have a really good form at the moment, reassuring that Crystal Palace did manage to get a point out of the last game with them. Um, what assessment do you make of that team? How do you think they'll challenge coming up against them? I think it's always difficult to play against Brentford when you're looking at the individual quality and how... The organizer as a team is always challenging to, to play against them, but every time we face them, I think we performing, we competed against them, and this time it's not going to be different. Um, they're in a good form, yes, but we played recently avec, against uh, good teams who had some really good runs, and, uh, and I think we competed quite really well against those teams. So it's about ourselves, how we can be well disciplined where we can be competing against them and uh, and play the way that i strongly believe we can do lovely and so lastly i wanted to ask is there a possibility of seeing an arbor de congress starting this weekend i think it's a bit too um he's been training well since he's been with us and uh you know i still have until tomorrow to really decide and look at the starting 11 but i'm happy with what he's been doing lately in training Lovely, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, move from Premier League productions. Hi Patrick, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Do you feel like after a few runs of um, frustrating results that a big performance, a big coming, a big win is coming? We are working hard and working well for it. You know, I think uh, when you're looking at the last couple of games that we had, um, we competed well against the opposition team. Obviously, we need to do more to win games and to do more is about being more ruthless. I think in both areas of, um, of the boxes is about creating those chance opportunity that we had and we have to score those goals. I think the chances are there. When you look at where Palace are in the table, do you feel it's a fair reflection of the performances so far this season and what's the biggest improvement you want to see? The biggest improvement that I will want to see is us scoring more goals. I think uh, the opportunities and the chances are there. I think we created opportunities, we created chances, but we don't take those chances. And in the game of football, you have to take those chances and to try to to score goals. And um, and I think it's a mindset has to be more more ruthless in, in front of the goals with more determination. We have to improve that quality as well. I think when we're in the last third, we've been making a lot of wrong decisions and, uh, and that side of the game has to improve as well. Yes, it's in, in a way game, but how important is that connection with the fans and having their support tomorrow? In the London I don't have any doubt about that. That is not a, a question that's coming through my mind. Uh, the fans always been excellent at home and away. We always have a really good support away from home. And I'm sure that will be the same again.